What is the next thing that will take us to the next level? What will take us to the next level? We'll be reading from the book of Ruth, chapter 4, and um, verse 13. Am I sure it's one, uh, 4? Let, but let's, let's go on. Okay, Ruth, chapter 1, I'm sorry. Ruth, chapter 1. Let's look at something there from verse 4. I think I missed something here. But you can be of help. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, we'll, we'll read from this particular version. Uh, the King James, the old one. We'll read through from here, I think, to verse 13. We'll, that's our scriptural reading. Then we'll come back to what we have for today. Can we read together after the count of three? One, two, three. Let's go. And they took them wives of the mo- women of Moab. Moab, sorry. The name of the one was Oprah, and the name of the other Ruth, and they dwelled there about ten years. Let's go on. Verse six and uh, five, sorry. And Malon and Shilon died also, both of them, and the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Okay? Then she arose with her daughters in law that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab. How that the Lord has visited his people in giving them bread. Okay? Wherefore, she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters in law with her, and they went on on the way to return unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her, to her two daughters in law, Go, return each to your mother's house, and the Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with me, with, with the dead and with me. Okay? Verse 9. The Lord grant you that ye may find rest, each of you, in the house of, your, of her husband. Then each kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. Okay? Verse 10. And they said unto her, Surely who will return with thee unto thy people? 11. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters, why will ye go with me? Are there yet another more sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have an husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have an husband also tonight, and should also be a sons. 13. Will ye tarry for them till they were grown? And will ye stay for them from having husband? Nay, my daughters, for it is grieving at me much for your sakes than to the hand of the Lord is gone out against me. Please, verse 14. Okay? And they lifted up their voice and wept again. And opera keys her mother-in-law, but Ruth did what? Cleave unto her. Father, we well, thank you for this morning. Thank you, Father, because you promised to take us to the next level. The Bible says the entrance of your word, give a light and understanding. We ask for the understanding of this word this morning. Grant unto each of us in Jesus' name. Our coming this morning, may we be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, let's learn from the life of Ruth. What she did in order to assess the next level. That was set before her. And we've read from the book of Ruth. Let's see the next level that God has for her. Oprah decided to say, okay, my mother-in-law, you can go on your own. And God promised that Jesus is coming. It has been right from the beginning. Who is going to bring this to pass? Who is going to make it possible? And from the beginning of Ruth's life, it shows that nothing is possible again. After 10 years of marriage, I was handling a case during the week. And a guy came to me and sat before me and said, I was the one who even asked. I said, I've been noticing. There's a lady that you normally work with, and I've been seeing two of you together. Where is she? The man said, we decided to part. I said, why? He said, for 10 years, we've been waiting, and nothing is showing forth. My father, my mother said, two of us should go. Our own parents, too, said, 
10 years, nothing is showing forth. Everybody should go on their way. And I said, why? There is nobody that is called a burning person any longer in our generation now. We have what we call IVF. We have what we call surrogate or something. I said, there are so many ways to do it. If, you, if one should fail, you should try again. You know, I said, ah, IVF, we've tried. It's too expensive. I said, I said, now they do it in such a way that you pay a little, they will put you on all those things, and uh, they will be waiting as the pregnancy is progressing, you'll be paying part and part till the delivery day. When you have the baby at hand, then, I said, do you think everybody will not be looking at you? Something will come, it's not even up to a million any longer. He, he said, wow. And I didn't, I said, be there more, delay more. In fact, we have Christian organization who do that now. And I was able to convince him. He now said, how will I call the person back? He now make me to remember the story of this guy, this lady. After 10 years of marriage, what else is remaining? The worst part of it was now, the man what, did what? He died. So what is her fate? What is she still waiting for? And God promised her next level. You know, so many, somebody also walked down to me a few days ago. We discussed, will I say yesterday or so? And we were discussing, say, Mama, in the next few days, in this month, I will clock 50. No husband, no child. The only one died. Is the child supposed to be 30 this month also. So I will be 50. What is left? I said, there is hope. There is hope. She looked at me and said, Mama, oh, I saw water in her eyes. As she was trying to tear, you know, tears was coming. I to have little of it in my eyes. I said, see, there is hope. She said, hope. I said, say there is hope. Only there is hope. But of this woman, there is nothing like husband. Ten years? You know, before she can be, okay, let's say she got married at 23. Like me. She will be how old by then? She will be 30. Somebody will say it's late. Somebody said there is no hope. And I told her something yesterday. I think I was discussing with one of our mother in the house. And I told her yesterday. I said, can you see somebody that believes that there is no hope? She will be 50 by so so and so so did this month. No child, no husband. He's running to Jesus. Somebody of, that is not up to her age is running to outside to go and look for a solution. I said, can you see this word? Kobala has gone. She is saying, I'm married to Jesus. But the person that is not up to her age is saying, I get in law, Juanita. Is that wisdom in it? That is the reason why we need to study. For us to move to our next level, what are the things we need to put in place? And I told her yesterday, I said, even if you are not going to carry the baby, have you not seen a woman of 60 years old that gave birth to baby before? He said, her mama, and it's true, 60 years. I said, yes. Ebi onu ebi. Over there, the worst to worst. You will go and do something. Another thing in another age. She looked at me and said, There is hope. And I was able to convince her till she left. Without knowing I'm going to meet her again in the evening. When we now met, she said, Mama, do you know as I was going home, I was thinking over it. It's true. There is still hope. Why did I even delay myself after that first one? Why don't I try again? Why did I make up my mind I'm not doing again? I said, can you see? That hope is coming up. He's coming alive. He said, mama, I've made up my mind. I'm going to do it again. Next level. What is the way forward? Aside. I'm not going to all that direction again. Mommy, bye-bye. You have told us that even if you should give birth today, they cannot become my husband. So why am I leaving to you? You go. I will go my own way. Maybe somebody is here this morning. You are making a kind of determination on taking some kind of rash decision. The Lord sent me to you. Don't do it. There is hope at the other side. Don't give up. But that's not where I'm going this morning. The Lord just asked me to encourage somebody. You think there is no way forward? There is. It's because your eyes is not yet open to what is next. I pray in the name of Jesus, in any area we've been blindfolded, this morning, because we are under this ministration, our eyes of understanding shall be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall see the next thing we need to do for us to get to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. So the next level that God had for her, 
How will she be able to achieve it? For God gave her a good, blessed, and prosperous husband. Yes, Ruth. That was what we read from the book of Ruth. And also gave her what? A son at the end of the day. And somebody will say, how come after 10 years? There is no hope again. But do you know she was blessed with a good husband? Married into a good family? And today we can trace Jesus to her. The savior of the whole world. Who now said something is impossible if God is, is part of it? If God is for you, the Bible says, who can be against you? Let's go deeper. Let's answer. We are going to answer three questions this morning. And the first one says, what did she do to get, you know, to eat, to get to our own next level? What did I, Ruth, did that make her to get to her place of destiny? destiny? Why have I mean, we how possible? How does she do it to get to the next level that God promised her? The first thing I want us to look at is in that book of Ruth. Let's read from verse 15 now. Let's start from verse 15. Ruth chapter 1 verse 15. And she said, behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto our people and unto our gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. Verse 16. That's Naomi talking to, to, uh, to Ruth. But Ruth said, I entreat you not to, I entreat me, I mean, entreat me not to leave thee. Or to return from following after thee. For we, 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 uh, whether thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. And thy God, my God. Go on to verse 19. Where thou diest, will I die. And there will I be buried. And the Lord do so to me. And more also, if aught but death part thee and me. Go on. So they two went until they came to Bethlehem. This one is no more working. Unto Bethlehem. And it came to pass when they were come to Bethlehem. I, do you see how it there? That all the city was moved about them. And they said, is this Naomi? Okay. Okay. And she said unto them, call me not Naomi. Call me Mara. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. May it not be our portion in Jesus' name. It will not be our testimony in the name of Jesus. But where do we want to pick what we want to discuss on? The Bible says, she, uh, Ruth, find an instructor, stroke, a mentor, somebody whose way of life and instruction she can follow. She found what? An instructor? Stroke, a mentor, someone whose ways of life and instruction she chose to really follow. And who was that? Naomi, a mother in law. Okay, God has promised me the next level. What is the next step? Our own first step was. Let me find somebody who can instruct me. They've been living for 10 years. She has noticed something in her. I think this woman, she's a godly woman. Maybe because of what happened to her, she noticed that despite all the up and down, this woman still sticks to the Lord. She did not turn back. And she didn't, you know, I wrote a book from this very particular scripture. Me and my mother-in-law. I read this particular portion, this place. And I begin to remember all her, what happened. Maybe the same thing happened to Ruth. That he said, ah, what are you still waiting for? Oh, you have killed my son and you are still here. What are you doing? You better, but well, maybe the woman did not even bother. So he said, eh, that is God for you. That is what God wants to do. My, my friend, my, my girl, can you go back and look for someone else who can marry you so that you can raise your own kids? She did not even fight. Her. She did not even bother to disturb them because she knows her God. And when it is time for them to part, she said, let me go back. I have been able to, to raise the children, but they did not stay. You can go back. But I know God will answer my own. As she was about going, the Bible said two of them said, no, 
we will follow you. Oh, I say, I'm your law. Oh, this is what we're going to do in Jerusalem. So why am I following her? But the lady Ruth caught something from this woman and said, no, I need a mentor. I need an instructor. Somebody that, sh- that will put me through. I have seen something, a God in this woman, that will help me if I can stay put. Because where I'm going back, <clears throat> I don't know they will be looking at me that ah, she killed her husband after 10 years. She's not coming back to the village to come and marry another person so that she can kill. She chose to follow, to really follow. Ruth made up her mind to do what to go with Naomi. In fact, it was clear to everyone that Ruth chose to follow Naomi. And I wrote here, who is a mentor? Who is an instructor? <clears throat> Let me start from being who is a mentor. I've treated this separately on the internet. I say, is a wise. Who is a wise person? Entobri a wise and trusted teacher. A trusted teacher. A wise and trusted teacher. Ruth saw this in Naomi. And that was the reason why Ruth decided to follow. Praise God. She decided to follow because she, is, she said this is the real person I'm looking for. And she decided to follow. And in following her, it made her to become what? A popular figure. You want to choose somebody that you can follow to go to the next level? Please, choose a wise and what? A, a trusted counselor. The Lord is telling me this morning to tell somebody somewhere here. You are listening to me here or online. To go to the next level to be like Ruth. Ruth, pick the, a what? An instructor. Somebody that will make things to, be, to work for her. They've lived for 10 years. She understands the woman. A wise and what? A what? A trusted counselor. If you want to choose a person as your instructor, that means the person must have what it takes to be a wise person. It must, the person must have something we call wisdom. Not just, but Sherry, Ocean, Ocean can't sell me. Ah, okay, I, I can see that she likes to talk. And that's the reason why you decide, or maybe she used to, life, eh? there are some people who will be asking you and they don't have your answer. They may be asking after you, what is going on in your life? Are you feeling better? Are you... They, don't, they may not have the way to the city. I could remember somebody, I don't know, we were talking one day, and the, the word just came from his man. I said, ah, we've cancelled her. She should go and be pregnant for somebody. I said, what? She should be pregnant without being married, and she should come with the pregnancy. I said, what kind of a thing is that? I have seen several people that gave birth after, outside white law because they are looking for somebody. I'm motivated. I shall get in law, getting pregnant. They gave birth to the child and they begin to raise the child by themselves. After some years, the, the child died. So what is the essence? I was talking with somebody. I said, she went to nursing school. She went to this and that. You know, these are the counseling they give us. Some of them say, but you have spent everything over the child. Because you are pushed to the wrong side. A wise and what? Trusted teacher. A wise and to the epe. Niko officiant ni tom bani. Niko officiant tom a cancel ye. It got to some stage in my life. Okay, when things are not easy, it's not going on well. And I made up my mind. Okay, who can, can help me? Who can talk to me? Who can cancel me? Yes, I've given my life. Okay, I need somebody who can help me out. I have to look for somebody who can, who I know she's wise. That is very wise. And I will go to her with a, 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 a big, uh, what do you call, diary book. I wrote all my questions there. I want to see her. I will tell the PA. I want to see her. They say, what happened? 
One day I got to her. I narrated everything from money. Everything that happened to me, I narrated. She was just looking at me. Yeah. Show this or not. Money. Show the woman got all the shit. What is she? As she was talking, I was crying. She was laughing. I said, eh. So, kill you, worry. So, I said, that's the reason why I'm here. She now said, okay, wipe your tears now. Let me teach you. On this matter, this is how I was able to overcome it. On this, this is how I overcome it. With practical experience. She showed me everything. Oh, do you think I've not been using drugs? Is it because I don't use analysis? I've been on this. I had partial stroke for so long. When she shared everything, I was looking at her. I was not crying for her. I said, you, you went through all this. And you did not tell anybody. She was able to tell me the particular. Please, can you attend to this person? Give a word. I stood up that day. I said, hey, somebody went through the same thing. Oh, I can't overcome it. I can stand and move on. Why am I getting myself? Because any small thing, if you ask me in those days, I would just be crying. Even if my husband said, eh, but yeah, eh, maybe you should, I would just be crying. Because I was so helpless. What is doing me? Nobody can, I can't explain. But for the very first time, I was able to see somebody I can be able to talk to. On this issue, I said, she already told me, great, hundred. Your own is just half. By the time she narrated everything, I came out. I held her. She held my head and she began to pray for me. You will overcome it. You will come out of it. This thing will be possible. You will do it this way. And she prayed. I left. After two weeks again, I booked another appointment. On the same matter, in the middle of the night. He said, no problem. We are on it. The same thing, the same principle I apply is what I will teach you. It took me about a year. She kept talking. She kept talking. Today, eh, a time when I, maybe I stumble on that, uh, my diary, I will now begin to laugh and laugh and laugh. I say, ah, so, 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 yes. Thank God for this woman. She was able to teach me to bring me out of this problem. When we saw ourselves a few days ago, I told her, I said, tip out of what you taught me is what I'm still doing. Me, tea low, quarter, tin, tin, two percent out of hundred. She laughed and laughed and said, don't worry, we are into it together. A wise counselor, a wise teacher, a trusted person, Is the one you should choose to follow so that you can get to the next level. Ruth was able to pick Naomi because she has seen something in her. What do you see in that person you are following? Whether on the secular aspect or the spiritual aspect. But I will base more on the spiritual aspect because the spiritual over is, uh, supersedes the, the physical. Yes, when we are talking about an instructor, a mentor, a business line, you can pick anybody. But when we talk about the spiritual aspect, you need to pick somebody that is trusted, that is godly. If you choose a person as your instructor, it means you have made up your mind to follow the person's counsel. You make up your mind, like Ruth, to do what? To follow the person with all your heart. To follow anything the person said. That's what, and that's the reason why you should be careful. When you are choosing, you must be very careful. Pray and pray and pray and pray for God's direction. You don't just jump into somebody and say, I have seen my mentor. You know, sometimes my children will come and say, I saw somebody online. I saw somebody, she's doing what I, I have in mind. I say, you don't, you don't just pick a counselor like that. You don't just pick a, a mentor like that. You study the person for years. Sit down and follow the person and see, can I follow her? Can she take me to where I'm going? Does she have what it takes for, for me to go to the next level? These are the things you, you, you pick in the person that you want to follow. Let me 
me show you what you should look out for in a, in a mentor. What are the things you need to look out in a mentor? Let's look at the A. You know, I told you the first question is, what did she do to get there? The second one is, what should I look for in a mentor? That is the second question. So, I will answer A, B, C under it. And the A says in verse 16, can we have it? Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. Ruth 1 16. Ruth 1 16. Let's, let's, let's see it on the screen, please. It says, and Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For wherever thou goest, I will go. And where, where thou lodgest, I will lodge. And thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. So, it shows that Ruth said, your God will be my God. It shows us that Ruth saw God in Naomi. God should be the first person you should see in your instructor. Does she know God? Is he a child of God? I've seen somebody who come to me one day and say, Hey, I like your kinik on cancel him. Definitely, you are expecting me. Abby? Somebody came to me one day and said, Hey, hey daddy, kinik on me, they cancel on me. And I asked, in the spiritual aspect, what rank is the man? Don't you consider the spiritual aspect? Somebody that you want to pick as your mentor, you should look at the person's life. What are the things the person knows about God? Okay, that means you too, you are not born again. If you choose an unbeliever as a, as a counselor, as somebody that should teach you something, definitely you as yourself, your own Christian life is shaking. You know, I've told you we are not talking about the secular now. We are not talking about the works of your hand. We are talking about the heavenly Go the heavenly race we are talking about is what we are talking about. Sorry, we are not talking about my business and also that one is apart. I'm talking about the spiritual aspect now. I have other mentors on other lines, but on the spiritual aspect, I pick the person that knows God, that serve God, that fear God. Your God will be my God. Is a very strong statement. Alone when I get alone on me. In general, you want my alone, don't sing. Two of them alone, don't sing. Kilo telephone. Kilo sorrow statements. Definitely, it will show you something else. To my get alone, don't sing. I go to your work, mother. Can't you do do as you want to You have to follow the person. And that's the reason why I said from the beginning, you must be careful with the person you choose as a mentor. Shall you any go there? Show she far away. We'll still go to that. <clears throat> God, is, God is the first person you should, you should do what? You should consider before choosing someone as a mentor. Is there any evidence that shows that that person is serving the true living God? Can you see God in the action of that person? There was a time somebody looked so spiritual. I told my husband, I'm not being kajo. With the spiritual aspect. When I was telling somebody yesterday, I came well from deep life because the person looked like one. And she called herself a friend. So she looked like one. So yesterday was the first time after about a year plus that we've been, did, we've been relating. So as I was sharing, he said, What? Deep life. I said, It's a lie. Eh, but I said, eh, Mrs. Safalab, it's a lie. I said, Forget it. He said, Now what happened? I begin to laugh. I said, Now look at what you just said. Show you any hair, Buruni. And you did not wear hearing. No chain. No lipstick. Can I say it? Have you ever heard such in my mouth? She looked at me and said, Born again, self righteousness. A born again will not confess such. Money since we've been relating, have you ever? I noticed that every time you always say this statement. Can your instructor say the right words in your presence? If they don't have God, what would they introduce you to? We didn't even show you another way around. And that's the reason why we should be. Ruth was able to pick something for Naomi. To Baba Yoni, eh? after a few, one week, you should know the person. To Baba Simon, move out. You now say, I don't want that to feel bad. 
Let her feel bad. Though. You are not going my way. Why am I following you? You will go and push me into, 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 into Gotha now. So it's better I move back. We are not going the same direction. That shows that the person is serving God. In choosing a mentor or an instructor, you don't consider money or material things first. Somebody will say, oh, no, I'm not poor. Show more about Sherry. If they should introduce you to what, the way they were able to acquire what you are saying, will you be able to stand? Will you be able to stay? Hey, and somebody was, this, we were discussing one day, and he said, if you know what it takes me before I could marry this man, I said, eh, okay, tell me more. He said, do, 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 I am the second wife, but he took me, I, I said, ah, no go area. So such a person can never be my friend. We have a friend. Evangelist Kule will know. A very close friend to my husband. The day he came here and said, two of us are parted. We are no more friends. We are no more. Yeah. We, we joined them. We joined them. You remember what who I'm talking about. We joined them. He's a very close friend. My husband loves him. The day I noticed that they are no more together, the wife came here and explained. He said, so two of us, we are parted. He's living in so. I told my husband, he cannot be your friend again. He said, why? I said, he cannot be your friend. What will you learn from him? And he said, I told my husband, do you know the new one again? They've parted. He said, how do you know? I said, go and check online. He said, ha. Ah. And he's the one that used to take me everywhere. That's why I don't have friends like before. He said, and I said, see, as long as you follow him, you two will have dropped again. Nobody is hearing about him. I'm telling you. Money, your rare fee on me. Ma more in your to je. Somebody is telling you, ah, I did test so and so person. I've did test so and so person. I've did test so and and you are still saying that person should be he's my instructor. Ah, he will instruct you to the to the push you. He will push you into the gutter. You are looking at the material things and money. You are not looking at the spiritual aspect. Kilo up and, and you are, if they say, how many people are born again here? Yeah, you will raise your hand. You are not born again, no. Forget about born again. You are on the, already on the secular. If, because if that person is not serving God, he or she can mismanage your destiny. Because, do you know if that person is a sinner, is a sincere, I mean, will I say a sinner, there is nothing he will introduce to you than to introduce you to error. Oh my, what was I was somewhere yesterday and we were discussing. The person came, he has been saying, oh, call me, oh, call me, oh, call me, oh, call me. And one thing about me, I want to know where the oh, call me will end. He said, ah, ah, go, go, take it. Go. Oh, he, she, doesn't, she doesn't take her husband very serious. And do you know, it's only the children that know that I'm married to him. Only the children of the first wife. I say, Ile, you, sorry. What will you teach me? What will you tell me? Do you know that if the person is a sincere, is, uh, if the person is serving God, he will hear God on important instruction about your life. I was about to give back to my torture, and the, there was a kind of arrangement. I said, man of God, anything we will do, let's go and ask her. If she asks us to go ahead, we will, I will follow. But if she's not in support, I will not do it. He said, ah, she be is our family. I said, no, let's go there first. And when we got there, my mentor said, for what? Why don't you allow her to be where you are? Oh, it's an opportunity, but please, it's better we are here seeing her than for you to take her away. Let it be in our presence. It was that operation that I stayed longer in the theater. Thank God for our instruction. Oh, yes. The person you are choosing as your, as your mentor instructor will push you to the, to the, to the bush. The bad girl of an animal, an opportunity, one fee, quality, half fee, half fee, she loony. Quality, she loony, and bama, but I want more. 
So if the person is not spiritual, what will he tell you? Even in the business line, if you choose somebody that is not on the other line that you saw, the Christian way, what will they tell you? One man she shares in it. One man jank on money. You want to sell? This is how you're supposed to do it. This is how you support. So many things are going on in this world. We are only seeing ourselves with our naked eye. There are so many things in depth that we cannot see with the physical eye. That's the reason why we should be very careful. Pray before you embark on any journey with anyone. As in, in a relationship. If she's not going to the, uh, to the right uh, path, please, vamos after two weeks. Toti, notice it. Master, hey, said enough in that. The master be one W. It seems we are not going the same line. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There was a time we went for somebody to somebody. My husband said, "I want to pick the person as my mentor." And when we got there, how oh, what I was asked. My husband asked all his questions. The answer him. I asked my own in the women department. How, mommy? How have you been doing it? The next thing the person will tell me, I won't be an Asia. We men. We men. I say, hey, how have you been coping with it? He say, me. Hey, me, I'm a I won't be in it. I'm a bad I won't be in it. I'm a bad one. I'm a bad one. I'm a bad one. I'm a bad one. So I was not, I say, ah. hey, but I will look at my husband's face. He will look at me and say, ah. And they've gone far. Are you still with me? I don't have time. I don't have time for them. They know I'm more educated. So I don't have time for that nonsense. As we are coming now, I told my husband, hey, do you remember? 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 Do you Because where we are going is different from where she's going. Why are you picking such a person as an instructor? It will push you to the wrong side. So, let's answer the, the, the B part. What should I look out for in a mentor? Number two. In the same verse, you will see that Ruth said, where you go, I will go. It shows us the second thing to consider in choosing a mentor. Or an instructor, the person must be what be a move must be moving progressively. The person must be doing what must be moving progressively. You should not choose a stagnant person. Don't 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 choose somebody that you know is not on go or the plateau. Because that, that's what happened. When I ask a question, I say, we, we, we may. We may. Ah, me, I don't have the time for them. And sincerely, what she's saying is true. But she never, she never saw a kind of future, you know, in having the women fellowship. So she wanted to discourage me because it's not working for her. And I said, that was my conclusion. And I left. I told my husband, I'm not coming back here. If you like, be going. Me, I'm not going there again. If we have the general meeting, we'll go. but for counseling, I don't want their counseling. But the point is, a stagnant person will not want you to move. I don't know whether what I'm saying you understand this morning. A stagnant person will not want you to move. He was a function instructor. So I'm a discouraged Ah, mo fe lo si Ghana kin lo ko awon kente kin eh se o ma ta nbi ke ko leta ah you want no wo there's no money in Nigeria presently you want you now want to waste money to go and be what kind of nonsense is that why don't you look for something eh ko sheri e to se ko sise and you you are asking question from him or her what will the person tell you ko le work because the person does not want you to pass Imagine, let's say David, follow what Saul said last week. I said, you cannot, you will not be able to fight this Goliath. You will not be able to have the power to be able to fight. He has been fighting right from when he was small. But David insisted, sir, 
I have killed this, I have killed that, I have done this. The man kept saying, and you only she said, for you to know that he kept a jealous high on this guy. He said, Go. He put on all the all his attires on him. Go. I believe in his hand. The his intention, soul intention came out when David killed Goliath. When women were begin to sing, that was where that thing came up. I said, eh, no. No wonder. Oh, what else is remaining? Let them go remove the crown from my head and put on your head. Okuku to kill Goliath. That was his intention right from the beginning. You know, some of us will, will pick somebody that is envious of you. His envy, the envy is much over you, and you, you are still follow. Follow. He's our, he's, he's, he's my mother in the faith. He's my mother in, in area. My big sis. The way people used to say it, I used to laugh. My big sis. What thing can you see in that big sis that is enviable? No. The little more you are doing, they are helping you to kill it. Oh, she said, my big sis. Mommy, you are allowed to go. One more, one love, one talk more. Show tea, walk for mommy. Why don't you calm down? Check. She ain't going to show bad you. Show walk if you go. One time I told my husband, if they are coming to come and tell you any child is being misbehaving, don't call me. Oh. Uh -uh. Yes, he looked at me and said, and when he left, I mean, with Abby, don't I used to say, don't call me oh, to come and help you to come and correct any child. Oh. He said, why? I said, she must be taught him, I don't know. I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. 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 Money bought me, it's a rock or temito. Mawa, kini, kini, wo, kini, wo, kini, fair wo. I don't know whether what I'm saying. He now look at me, daddy, say, ah. <laughs> so if they are calling me, say, Pastor, I will sign to him. Mm -mm. Again, rock or temico, don't know. Tobati, don't him, to she wo. Wari fast, he be a lot, o tomo. But kinti ma be bati, ewi. And he own on ye. Kino tito. And you don't want to tell you, show you the money you money you have to suffer you, baby. That's the reason why I don't call some people again. If they are just, ah, he, 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 I was, my own on outside. I'm not part. My husband, I said, why are you always, I said, eh, get can talk to me, you know, you know, my life in control, you know, go. The person you, you are following, shoot it, she, da, da. The person you are picking and say, Oh, I'm Belaro. Oh, you go to my loss. I don't sorrow. Oh, you pray. Show it down. Show it down. Show it here. Because if we don't get it right, with what I said here, it must be a pro. The person must not be stagnant. Who could not move? The part of the of the just should be a shining light. That shine light what brighter and brighter. Come and shine, come and recall your boy. Eh, eh. And so you can emulate me. And to see plateau. See your love because come on. You now stay with the person and say, Benny, my joke will see. Ha! The next level will be difficult. Let's go on with, with our teaching. The person must be, a, a, must be moving progressively. You should not choose a stagnant person as your mentor, as your instructor. Check his or her life if there is progressive movement. No wonder our Lord Jesus said to his disciples, follow me. It means I am moving. Let us go. Follow me. That was the instruction of Jesus. You can see what God is using me to do. Follow me. You, the person you are following, show move. Ah. Somebody came to me and said, eh, the, the woman I'm following, though she's the second wife of a man, but she has a good cancer, she will cancer, and my head will be swelling. She will cancer. And I asked a question. Since the person has been married to the husband as the second wife, what are the things you have seen? Ah, she has money. She's okay. At least the man is coming once in a while to come and visit. I said, ah, oh, what do you want to learn from the person? 
You two should go and do the same. I said, why? You should go and call me while I motivate so long. It's true. You look at the person. The Bible says, Jesus said, follow me. That means he is moving. My next level. You two do what? Do the same. Follow me. Don't be blind. Don't be stagnant. I saw my mentor. I told her what I've been doing. She, has the, was, she was the one that said, in the next few weeks, yeah, I'll be doing so, 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 so. Thing. I said, at 60, he said, yes, I'm doing it. I said, ah, Muni, we are at your back, you know. But she said, you know, sorry, telling you. Only I, I trust you. I know you are doing it. And that's what I told Baba, that you, the reason why you are scarce now is because of the things you are doing. My sisters, she taught me so many things so as a pastor's wife. What I am doing presently online, she taught me, oh, when she saw me, she laughed and said, I know so many people will be looking at you. They don't know that you were shy before, but now you are coming out gradually. I said, that is what you put in me. But she didn't She said, before they will ask, what are the things she has that she's bragging? There must be something. And don't tell a kilo fee. One of our mother in faith at 60 went back to school. What's in your book? What's in your master? So I know she felt quite a lot. She loved her first day in the school. She showed us online. I'm about going into the class, into the lecture room. And when it was another time again for the uh, matric, she put it again. I'm inviting you for my matric. I see which kind of him at 60. And somebody will say, Ki loku. At 60, Mutini grandchildren, great grandchildren. King Joku came about at this era, this age. Move with those who are moving. Why are you, why are you staying behind? The Jesus said, Follow. Follow a good person that is moving. Don't be stagnant. Don't say, Moti, 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 achieve, Moti, fail, ko. Moti, wow, okay, now. Moti, Moti, be more. You want trophy? No, there are still better things after. And that is the plan of God for our life, to move to the next level. He says, let us. Jesus is moving. He wants you to move. Let's go on. I've been able to bring out the first and the second point. The first one was, what did she do to get it? The second one, what, what you should look out for in a mentor. Number three, when you find a mentor, how should you follow? Can we look at that this morning? When you, when you, when you find a mentor now, what, what, what are the things you should do? What you should follow? What are the things you should pick? Number one, let's see uh, Ruth chapter 1 verse 15. Ruth 1 15. Ruth 115, let's have it. Ruth 115. And she said, Behold, thy sister in law is gone back unto her people and unto her God. Return thou after thy sister in law. Well, I want to bet it, Lord. Your sister, she has gone back. You two follow. See, she follow what? Attentively. That is number one thing. When you find your mentor, how should you follow? Follow attentively. Do not allow the attitude of anyone to do what to discourage you. Ruth, the Moabite sister, I mean, uh, what's the name of the second one? Um, uh, eh? Oprah. Oprah said, I'm going back. I'm going. I don't want to stay here again. I don't want to follow her. But Ruth, the Moabite, went, he went on following Naomi. But the other one said, Moabite, 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 me, I'm not staying. I'm not going with you, man. You can go. But Ruth did what? She followed attentively. Oh, woe, da, da. And Toba Matele, woe, da, da. Shaye, ni lo, si waju. Toba ni lo, si waju, materially, financially, spiritually, nko. Can she help me? When situa you know, there are sometimes, when situation of one life comes up, money and uh, material things cannot save. Oh, at your winning. Oh, man, down when Pele can't talk in, 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 
must not happen. I could remember one of our sisters, a close sister. In the middle of the night, I got that revelation. I saw something wrong. I said, ah, ah. I wake up, daddy. I said, man, of God, so 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 person. I saw this and this. My husband said, hey, I pray for all. It is well. God will have uh, help us. I say, amen. Friday. I think it was a Friday stroke Saturday. On Saturday stroke, Sunday morning again. I got the same revelation. The same thing. Ah. And if God should repeat a, a thing for me twice. My children knows about what I'm saying. If I should get a revelation twice. On Sunday, after the service, I called the person. I said, sit down. What have you been doing? Go show me this. Who is this man in your life? What is this? She burst into tears. I say, oh, she told Tony Mori, Puni Mama Bushi Shelley, go, let's say, Sonia. I say, ha. A miracle, mom, go, con, she, no, no. But what was it, the KG? I noticed that. She said, Mama, that is how it is. That is what happened. Ah, I say, go, love you. You are into danger. You are running into danger. That is the reason why God showed. It's because spiritually, most saints go, con, she, born in telling me. I put that person in my heart. Pray. Anytime. The person wants, we don't cry. I will go and pray, God, why is she going through this thing? God, please help me over her. I say, you not left me. You didn't tell me anything that you are doing this. You are going astray. Going towards another direction. God have revealed to me. Oh. And he said, if you don't turn back, you will die. She cried and cried. I led that back to the Lord. Some people may discourage you. I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said they are discouraging you not to tell us anything about you. One want to One to any. One thing about me is that I will, I will talk to you. See opportunity, Baba. And if I should keep quiet, I keep quiet because I want you to fall. So that when you ask for help, I will help you. She said, Ha. I said, Hey. If you are saying a child, don't go, don't go. When you are raising a kid, some of us who are already mothers and fathers say, you are drawing a child. Don't go, don't go. You, you know how children used to do at times. They will say, and he said, mommy, they will even be crying. Leave the child. There was a time, uh, you know this lantern. Anytime we hold lantern. You know how children used to run to it. They want to touch. Uh, one day I said, leave their liver. Man of God, no, let's carry. I say, leave her. To bati for what? To bati for she will not go there again. Oh, I love for so there. Why? Oh, why? I said, hey, can you see that it's hot? Next time you will not. Talk. Anytime we are bringing the lantern, she will run. I said, hey, can you see that the way I've been drawing you? You refuse to answer until when you touch it. Because there are some people like that. If you don't allow them to please themselves, to do all what they want to do, cook with 25 times, they will not listen. So, Follow attentively. Do not allow the attitude of anyone to discourage you. Ruth may the um, Ruth follow Naomi, but the other one said, "I'm not going." But Ruth did not allow this to move her. Verse 18 said, "She said, your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Where you die is where I will be buried." And that was what happened. She followed attentively. The person you are following, he, you know, I've been able to show you. Share your giddy, to about the worry mentor. Follow the person. Be watching how the person is doing, how the way of his life. Be watching the person. Tell me, ever felt to be fair? Should we go I don't know whether you are getting me. Even if the mentor wants to make mistake, you will know ah mistake is there new because you have been following the person. You know the pattern. You know her style. You know his style. You know ah ah mommy. The you can go as well and go and be praying secretly. Not that you should not face the person. Hey, she mistake. There, but she mistake in you. So in such a case, you see a fault in your mentor. You go back and pray, Father, please. Ah, if you if you know how I prayed for my mother in faith to have a grandchild, I begin to count. Oh Lord, she must see her grandchild before sixty. It must be possible. It was a prayer. My husband will say, Ki wa niti I, say ah, I, know what, I know what it means to see a grandchild. That she told me one day that she promised God at 60 she wants to die. I say, so if she clocks 60 and not seeing the baby, 
Ah, what, what a wasted kind of years. I prayed. I never say it. She may be listening because at the time when she sees me on, on Facebook, she's listening to my message. So I will go and be praying, Father. Ask my children, Lord. Ah, oh, 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 nine months. The day I saw it, I was the first person that was to see it. I said, man of God, they have given birth. Yes, yes. This is the child she has been waiting for. I was so happy for her. Not that I want to say, put it here, come marry me. If I can say, mentor. Follow attentively. Oriero, God, should you be bored? Just be praying. But I know she's taking me somewhere. I know he's taking me somewhere. I know my walking with him or her will lead me to my next level. That should be your heart desire. The first point is follow attentively. Don't follow the voice of the multitude. When multitude are saying there is a cast down, nothing is showing. I'm not seeing any proof. I'm not seeing this. Tell them, Mumma, what are you suffering me? Can she know? Let her call meeting at the middle of the night. I will be there. My husband will say, ah, "You and this." I say, "Just leave me. I have some other people, but this one, I have stick to her." There are some things I'm doing. It was from her. Very simple, gentle, easy going, but very principled. Yeah. Let's be watching. So I have I I follow that style. Oh, Lida, okay. should you be cool in Kotoshi? I'm doing the same. You know, times when you go to and say, Oh my, oh, fair, mommy, oh my, oh, she back. <laughs> my, she will laugh and laugh and say, Assuming my mother in her grief, eh, can see all the things I've done in the past. She will rise up from the, from the burial ground and come and start beating me because I misbehave when I was in secondary school and university. Whoa, I want to say, yeah. Ah, Tia me barry, Lono. Oh, yeah, go GD, the father, go walk, go walk, go walk, go that's children for you. Keep praying. It, one day I cried and she said, she, Oh, three of my colleagues. So I cleared my face. So when we now go to Bishop, as Bishop was talking, my mother, my, she was in like, <laughs> But that was T Bishop Quiet person. Oh, my Lord, will me more. I say, ha. Imagine somebody is talking to you like that. You that you are crying, what will happen? Why are you around you? I say, because I followed. It was easy for me to pick some things from her. Number two, in Ruth chapter two, who is who can open that place for us? Verse uh, chapter two. From verse 21 to 23. Let's be quick. Ten minutes so. We preach alone here. We have let me maybe in the next few minutes. Okay. Chapter 2, verse 21 to 23. Quickly. And the root the Moabite said, He said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men until they, uh, they have ended all the all my harvest. To 23, 22. And Naomi said unto Ruth, her daughter in law. It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his median, that they, may, they meet thee not in other fields. My bad one more be in me, Lord. My tell I want to you. Okay, verse 26. So she kept fast by the median of Boaz to glean until the end of the barley harvest and of the wheat harvest and dwell with her mother in law. Now look at what happened here. Number two, follow obediently. Beloved, a mental see far and clear, clearly than the protege. Follow obediently. After attentively, follow obediently. Because your mental see far and clearer. They can see far. Because they see things from two versions. Number one, from experience and from revelation. That's the reason why the person must be spiritual. In experience, once you go ahead, revelationally they understand. So it is therefore you follow obediently. <clears throat> she told Ruth, Ruth, don't do this. Do it like this. So move by secure home when you make sure you follow. Some people will say, Motibo. Habalosari, Lobas, Boas. Boas. 
I've seen several of our sisters I will tell you, don't go to that boy's house. Don't try it. When the whole thing will not crash, I will not ask a question. What did I tell you? They say, Mama, you said, I say, ah, ah. don't go there. Let the person be the one to follow you. You want to follow, you want to show that he, ah, I love him. He loves me. I say, ah, well, no, my darling. The person may not marry you at the end of the day. It has happened severally. And at the time when they come back and cry, I say, Can you see? I told you not to do it. Don't follow in such a way that a child will come and sort anyone. When you are attentive, be obedient to whatsoever they say. Follow the instruction. Obey it in total. And if not for Ruth, follow obediently. She won't have been able to marry Boaz. And today, she's in the genealogy of who? Of Jesus Christ. Because she gave birth to Obed. And Obed is what? The father of Jesse. And Jesse is what? The father of Jesus Follow obediently. Don't think you know everything by yourself. To about you pick in your cocoon as your mentor. Listen. You want to take any step? Listen. Go and ask questions. Should I do it? Will he pay me? Will the journey be smooth? Because to buy encounter anything, where will you run back to? Let's be wise. And the last one on when you find a mentor, what should you do? How should you follow? Follow thankfully. Follow. And be thankful to the person. Don't be a jaramore de, a baramore de. Follow thankfully. The reason is because the attitude of thanksgiving has a way of what positioning thanksgiver for fresh favor. Ruth was always showing thankful, you know, attitude to Naomi, and it made Naomi to be more committed. In helping her to to next level, she went ahead. Ah, my mother-in-law. She does not have anybody to help her. She was the one who went out to go and be cleaning. She will bring something. Mama, this is the food. Oh yeah, eat. Mama, eat. Oh yeah, eat. Mama also because she saw the gratitude heart from her was able to do what and say, oh, I need to secure a place for this girl. She must be settled. Oh, the tea, tea, tofu, tea, one genealogy, Jesus. Don't let the person that you pick that's a mentor look at you and say, Ah, yeah, it's true. Be thankful. You can't see me say a word without saying something about my mentor. She helped me. I won't lie to you. When they call me, I told them, I said, I'm not going for any program this year. No. The money I'm going to use to register, I will use it to write something for her. So they gathered 60 of us, one for each year for her. And I said, no problem, let's go on. How much is it? They told me the money. I sent the money. I sent the writer. When she read the writer, I believe she started sending messages to every one of us. Thank you. I never knew I've affected life so much like this. Ha! So and so person is among. So and so. Be thankful. They gathered the women ministers again. We were part. Now, individually, my husband was calling. Banker, can you get me cash? I need, sources. I need something to put in her hand. Not for anything. She has done well. Be thankful. Anybody do pay any? On shaking, on shaking. If you are not thankful, even God will not release the favor. He will not release the next level. He will keep it secret for you. So you choose somebody as a mentor, be thankful. Show a thankful attitude. You are, as you are showing it, even to your God, that means you are... Have you not seen uh, one bus, the others? When they praise them, praise them, praise them, what will happen? They will bring out some things from there and give it to the person praising them. The same thing is our God. The same thing is woman being. He made woman being as his own image. So you are thanking somebody. What do you expect that person to be doing? I say, ah, how to help this person more will be coming out of their hand. I think I've been able to bless you this morning. For you to go to the next level, live your life like Ruth. You can go back to that scripture. Ruth chapter 1. I've read that place. I can't count how many times. To the extent I wrote a book out of it. Me and my mother-in-law. Everything was written. I picked some things there that can help. You can look for the book and, and get it. But the point is, read that scriptural passage. Read it and digest it. Eat it like food. You will see that in relating with people, especially with your mentor, 
you will have a progressive move. Things will be easy to achieve. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Shall we bow our heads as we begin to talk to the Lord? In any area of this world, today I've been able to reach you. Can you begin to talk to God? Father, please help me. In my going to the next level, I need a mentor. Show me an instructor, somebody that you will use for me, that will be able to take me to my next level. Oh, Lord, open my eyes to it. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me, oh, God, to follow attentively. Help me to follow obediently. Help me to follow thankfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me that you will not be angry with me. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shall we rise to our feet as we declare for this week that this week as we go into it, the Lord will favor us. He will usher us into a great blessing in the name of Jesus. When men are saying there's a casting down for them this week, you shall rise and say there is a lifting up for you in the name of Jesus. Lines shall fall to you in pleasant places in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessing of God will come upon you in the name of Jesus. You will walk and the Lord will make you to see the harvest of your, of your labor in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go this week, you shall return alive in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not only return alive, but you return full, being blessed by the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for your answer. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.